here wanted to give an update on our experience with the cross guard saber um, as you see here we have a new little um, configuration putting the extensions from uh, ultra sabers on there we've got one extension on with the coupler here and the regular pommel that comes with the uh, flamberge um, and uh, got to say that it is uh, definitely working out a lot better having the extra hilt on this side is definitely um, keeping the hands out of the way of the cross guard and we've been noticing a couple of things. We'll show you in some uh, free sparring here in a moment. Um, going up against a regular saber, we've noticed it's almost unfair at this point. <laughs> um, and uh, Ryan is going to help me out here. So what we've noticed is before, if you're constricted up here to this part, you run the risk of him dropping over and then getting you or your hands. And obviously, I want to try to get in here and try to get him with the cross guard. But that limits exactly how tight my arc can be. So that was kind of a limitation. So we're here. Now I can move my hand down. So I can use the cross guard now to move his blade out of the way, right, and use the superior leverage from this to kind of get in, okay? <clears throat> so we've kind of noticed that. Um, it's a little unwieldy here, but you're going to be so, so much in these positions like this that it's not even going to matter. Right. So we continued, and when we pick up the yes, sort of thing, we got a uh, using a saber pipe without the cross guard. That becomes a little bit more of an interesting game. So now I'm not as safe when I'm here. He can still get me, and we've noticed that the best way to do it is to use it more like a spear than a saber or a blade. So that we're like this. You'll notice that one great thing that the cross guard saber has in, in it is lifting this thing up. So he comes in with a thrust, I can lift it up way up over my head and be able to come in for a strike that way. Okay? I can also come in here and extend here and use the cross guard to trap his saber or get his hands. So I have all of that available to me as well, all right? Like that, okay? So we've noticed, so that's one thing to keep in mind, definitely, um, that with the cross guard saber, having a longer handle is definitely an advantage. Um, it becomes a long weapon, you have to use it a little bit differently, but it really starts to make the use of the cross guard something that's very dynamic and actually rather fun. Um, you can see I can switch switch stances here to a more spear-like stance like that. You can see I can trap right there with the with the cross guard, <laughs> slip over to the other side. Right. I can withdraw it. I can come in. Now one thing you gotta worry about is if you extend out here and he knocks it out to the side, you can lose it. So that's something to, to keep in mind. But being out here, I can now use these cross bars kind of much more dynamically and um, much more successfully, I think. All right. So <clears throat> that is, uh, Kind of where we are with that. You're going to see some uh, more things. We'll put up some sparring videos. I'll do a couple examples, specifically the stuff we talked about here. But then we'll put up some videos which just show um, us kind of playing around with it. And um, so you can see what we found out. All right. Well, thank you, Ryan, for helping thank me you, out. Sir. Thanks to you for all uh, tuning in. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. 
Um, have a great day. Have a great weekend. We will see you on the flip side. Have a great day and happy sabering.